Hello traders, welcome to the post market report. So first we see what has happened in today's market. And I am having a 30 minutes candle here. So the market uh, yesterday closed at 17607 and today uh, it opened with a gap up at 17679 and market went up to 17715 and took a reversal right and then again uh, it came down to 17640 right again I took a reversal and uh, tried to you know, you know uh, break uh, today's high but it couldn't sellers came in and pushed the market down and after uh, 115 you know there was a huge selling pressure market you know fell down up to 17615 and uh, it couldn't recover and again um, there is a there was a huge sell off and again the market came up to 17490 okay and as i told you yesterday there is a good support at 17500 so market almost closed at 17508 okay so this is what happened uh, today and uh, let's look into uh, the impact of today's market on uh, monthly uh, weekly and daily charts so this is the monthly chart So you have a long support at 15200 as I told you yesterday and a long resistance at 18600 and a nearby resistance at 18000 okay and uh, I, as I told you yesterday there is a just hold on there is a trend line here a downtrend so let me draw in a different color so that to differentiate so as i told you yesterday the if the market has to move upward it has to break this trend line okay so once if it breaks the trend line the market will test 18000 okay so it has to break this resistance and then it has to test 18000 and uh, in the downtrend if it if, sorry, if it you know continues to move downwards the market will further go down and it may test 16500 uh, and you have a long support at 15200 if it didn't take up support in these places the market will fall further so let's look into uh, the weekly chart So the same scenario so the market has to break this trend line to move upward but uh, it seems like you know reversing the, for the past two weeks it is in downtrend and let's see what is happening okay the same thing here if it has to move forward it has to break this line okay this resistance and it has to break 18000 then it may test 18600 okay if it moves downwards if it moves downwards if we have a support here right 16500 okay and uh, we have a support at 16500 and then a long support at 15200 so that's it uh, about uh, you know the weekly chart and uh, we look into the one day chart here is a strong resistance and you have one more support here in the one day chart okay so this is going to be the nearby support and resistance in one day chart that is 17350 and 18000 okay so we'll be back to our uh, 30 minutes uh, candle 
So our next uh, nearby support and resistance for tomorrow, it is going to be. I'll make it 15 minutes. And so on five double zero and again So we have a support at 17500 and a resistance at 176625. Okay. So let's see what is happening uh, tomorrow. This is what going to be the the shortest support and resistance for tomorrow. So let's see what is happening. If and if you look into the world market, Nasdaq is at uh, 12431 plus 50 and SGX Nifty is at 17594 plus 71. So uh, we will see what is happening tomorrow and that's all for now. Thank you for watching the post market report. We will see tomorrow. Thank you.